We have science to thank for breakthroughs in medicine, improving people's lives, and even unlocking some mysteries of the universe. But can science tell us which movie will make us shed the most tears? Stay tuned as we find out. Very few people might like sadness as a concept, but there's no denying that there's a time and place for sitting down to watch a sad movie. However, exactly what constitutes a sad movie and how it can be experienced is a more difficult thing to figure out. We all have those certain films that just tug on our heartstrings. Some prime examples include the horrifically depressing ending in Million Dollar Baby, the haunting journey portrayed in The Pianist, and the gut-wrenching conclusion to The Green Mile. Each movie works in different ways to make the audience weep for the character and all are critically acclaimed for their success in evoking such sadness. Thanks to the large variety of things people convey as sad, and the vast array of films that depict said things, you could say the list of sad movies is nearly endless. As such, if you were to ask someone what the saddest movie of all time is, they would probably only be able to give you a subjective answer. That is, unless you ask the right people. See, while it's easy to assume that it's pretty much impossible to designate a single film as the saddest movie of all time, Smithsonian Magazine's Richard Chin thinks otherwise. He spotlights an astounding scientific study by psychology researchers Robert Levinson and James Gross, who have apparently succeeded in such an endeavor. Working at the University of California, Berkeley, back in 1988, Levinson and Gross were researching the relationship between movie scenes and emotion. Specifically, they were searching for a scene that succeeded in eliciting only a single emotion at a time, Smithsonian Magazine reports. On the sadness front, the winner was as clear as it was surprising. After testing 78 carefully vetted sad movie scenes across almost 500 undergraduate volunteers, they discovered that the ending scene in Franco Zifarelli's 1979 sports drama The Champ was distilled sadness, evoking the emotion more often than any other scene. To put this in context, second place went to the famous scene in Bambi where the titular character's mother dies. Since the results of the research were published in 1995, The Champ has been used in a great many psychology experiments and features in over 300 papers. This is largely due to the scene's ability to cause sadness in test subjects in a powerful, yet comparatively ethical way. Levinson said, It's wonderful for our purposes. The theme of irrevocable loss, it's all compressed into that two or three minutes. Curiously enough, despite its off-the-charts emotional punch, critics don't consider The Champ a particularly great movie. It only has a 36% tomato meter score on Rotten Tomatoes, so while scientists may be convinced of its importance, perhaps being a sad movie doesn't make it a good movie. Then again, its audience score is a respectable 82%, so maybe critics just don't like feeling sad. So what makes The Champ such a sad movie? Well, if you know what it's about, it's easy to understand why the film is custom made to put your feelings through the ringer. The movie follows Billy Champ Flynn, played by John Voight, an aging boxer who's struggling to be a good father for his adorable son, TJ, played by Ricky Schroeder. As this is happening, the boy's estranged mother, played by Faye Dunaway, attempts to pry the kid away from his dad. All three proceed to go through the ringer throughout the movie's duration. In the scientifically ultra-sad final scene, Billy dies in the aftermath of his desperate comeback match in plain view of the distraught TJ who slowly realizes that his father is dead. TJ, please. I want you! TJ. I want you! TJ. Please, TJ. Listen to me. He's gone. The heart-rending, nearly three-minute scene consists pretty much entirely of TJ uncontrollably crying over his father's earthly remains. Pretty sad, right? What's more, the movie has plenty of star power in Voight and Dunaway, and young Schroeder actually won a Golden Globe for his role as the emotive TJ. As such, you can be sure that all those sad scenes and dramatic beats get driven home with five-star ability. The end result is so extremely sad that, according to Smithsonian Magazine, even the scientists in charge of the experiment weren't immune to its power. James Gross admitted, I still feel sad when I see that boy crying his heart out. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movie stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.